Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Hey, I've uh, done a review on this Guide Gear Tiny Wood Stove, and uh, today is the day that I get to do the first burn. You want to do your first burn outside uh, because these are painted with an enamel paint. The first time you burn them, there may be a little bit of smell uh, and a little bit of smoking from the paint as it uh, cures and hardens. So always want to do your first burn on these outside, and I just was just going to show you here. Uh, that I ordered the accessory kit. It doesn't come with these, but this is the accessory kit for, I think it was $30 that I got this for. And uh, the accessory kit comes with this grate, which I really recommend because that goes inside the stove and uh, that will keep the wood up off the bottom of the stove so you'll have a lot less potential for a burnout. It also makes the fire burn better because it's raised up so it gives some oxygen underneath the wood. And then it comes, the accessory kit comes with these two racks and I've got them uh, in use right now. Uh, the two racks fit right into the uh, little hole slots that they have already built onto the stove. So uh, the racks are really nice for like when you're heating up food, you cook it, then when you just want to keep it warm, you set it over on the grate, and that keeps it warm and gives you space on top of the uh, stove for other things that you're still cooking. They could also be used if you want to uh, uh, heat up or dry your gloves and socks, things like that. You can just set those on there without putting them next to the stove where they're going to get burnt and you can dry them. Now this stove, just a real quick uh, reminder, this is the Guide Gear uh, wood stove. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. It is approximately 17 and 3 quarters inches long and about a foot wide. Okay, Good size uh, wood box for a small uh, cabin or tent or in my case, I'm going to be using it in my shepherd wagon build, which some of you have been following along. And so I'm going to be using that in my shepherd wagon, which is going into that trailer right there. So now it's time to get this thing started. And I've decided, well, if I'm going to start, I might as well cook me a meal. Now this thing here is a pizza oven, which comes with a stone. It's actually, it can be used for anything besides pizza. But I've got me a nice little frozen pizza on there. Normally I'd make my own, but I just bought this one at the store. That stone that's underneath it fits right against the, uh, the wood stove, but has a couple of little raised bottom edges. So it raises it up just a little bit. And uh, then it does a really nice job with the cover of heating the pizza. Or you could use it for uh, scones, would be really good to cook on here. Or just about anything that you just want to heat up would work really well in here. Or, uh, you know, if you want to do uh, burritos or anything like that, then you can use this little stone oven. If you go and buy an oven, they do make them. They make sheet metal ovens that will go on top of little wood stoves and things. But they're almost expensive as the wood stove. This was only 20 bucks, and I got two of these uh, to go one on my wood stove, and one is going to go on my gas range in the house. So when I want to cook and not have to use the big oven, I'm just going to use these. Because, you know, most of the time it's just, I'm just cooking for me and Tazzy. And so, you know, we don't need a, a lot. Now, the other things I've got here, I've got a little Japanese uh, teapot, or in my case, it's going to be a coffee water warmer. And it does have a screen inside it for making tea or coffee. Then I've got an old cast iron skillet. This is like a 7-inch skillet that was handed down to me from my uh, mother who got it from her mother. So this thing's been around for over 100 years. And I've also got a 13-inch skillet that goes with it and a flat uh, griddle that goes with it, all three of the set, that will go perfectly with this small stove. And then this thing over here is a caldera, also called a cauldron, uh, which is basically a uh, small cooking pot. It's cast aluminum, and uh, you can fix a, a, a meal for like one or two people in that entire thing right there, and just put it on your oven. You just uh, cut up your vegetables, put in a, some broth, and, and fix you up a, a nice stew or something like that in one of those. And then this little cute thing, Everybody gave me a hard time about this. This is an actual cast iron lodge where uh, skillet, little mini skillet. Okay, it's about three and a half inches. And what those are designed for? No, they are not ashtrays. They are actually used for cooking. What you want to do is you, you if you want to just put in some sauce that you're going to use on a different dish, you put your sauce in there and you heat that up and then you move it to the side to keep it warm. Or you can do butter or you can do just a small amount of whatever leftovers you have that you're going to add to your pizzas or something like that. You put in there and then you cook that up and then you use that and dip it over whatever food that you're going to be using. It is an actual skillet. It is not an ashtray, folks. Okay.
So now it's time to get this thing started burning. I'm going to put that grate in it. I've got me a little pile of hardwood over there that comes off of my own trees. These Russian olive trees are a menace. However, I found a good use for them because their limbs are hardwood and they, they uh, hardwood burns slower and burns hotter. And so I got a ton of these uh, that I've trimmed off over the years and I'm going to use them up in this wood stove. Free wood. Probably got enough wood there for five years uh, the way this... Uh, these trees produce wood. All right, so I'm going to get this started. I'm going to put that grate in, put a little bit of newspaper, and put some of those twigs in it to get it started, and then I'll let it burn, and we'll see how that pizza cooks. Fire started. Looks really nice. Started up really easy with the grate. Burning really well. And uh, I am going to make a screen to go on the front of this so that when I'm sitting in the shepherd wagon, I can just uh, open up the door like that and watch the fire from my bed and that'll be really nice so there you can see it burning a nice little flame going uh, I'll close the door up here in a minute to hold the heat in so it cooks that pizza a little bit faster uh, you can this started up really fast with that grate underneath it gets lots of good oxygen and uh, you want to leave a little bit of ashes always in the bottom of your wood stoves only leave only clean them down to about a half inch. Leave about a half inch of wood ashes in your wood stove. That acts as a preventive uh, uh, for the bottom of the stove so they don't burn out. Great helps with that too, but also the ashes also help with that. And so this is burning really well, uh, heating up fast. And so I'm going to close this door up now. You see, smoke coming out of the chimney. My pizza is cooking. Okay, folks. So there's uh, the wood stove is now burned off. I'll let it burn for about 30 minutes and uh, the pizza is done nice and bubbly cheese on top and I checked the bottom and it's nice toasty brown now it doesn't say to use uh, any oil on these stones on the instructions but I think that I would probably spray these with maybe a little bit of cooking oil before I cook on them the first time it did stick just a little bit and uh, so then it'll have to be scrubbed and I don't like washing dishes so I would probably spray it with just a little bit of cooking oil uh, before you cook a pizza or whatever you're going to cook on it the first time. Worked really well. Stove uh, heated right up, started right up, and we've got it burned off now, so I'm ready to use it in my shepherd wagon over there. Or use it just whenever I just want to cook outside and don't want to have to use my propane. This will save me some money on uh, cooking. I don't have to use propane when I just want to throw something on the, the wood stove and burn it. And this also gets rid of all these old limbs, which I've just got uh, all kinds of twigs and limbs like this laying around my house. Uh, laying in a big pile. i got a huge pile out here, so I'm just going to gather those up and, and start using this wood stove. Alright, it's time for lunch. I'm going to have a pizza. Thanks everybody for stopping by. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And go to my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Uh, you can look at the uh, cabin plans i got on there. Get you a free copy of the Shepherd Wagon plans. Uh, just click on the link that says Micro Cabins. Go get you a free copy of the plans for that. And you can follow along the videos for that that I'm working on. All right, I like this uh, Guide Gear wood stove. I think it's going to work really well. Uh, good size for me for cooking for one person or two people. And I like the accessory kit. comes with the grate and the uh, two side racks in the accessory kit. All right, folks, have a great day.